What is a shill? So in conspiracies, we always come across shills. Now, a shill is just someone that tries to sabotage the movement or sabotage the message. So people used to get really frustrated with Alex Jones because Alex Jones would wake them up and then they would go study on their own and then they would come back to Alex and Alex would shut them down. Alex wouldn't let them on their show. Alex didn't want to talk about the conspiracy they were into and they thought Alex was shilling for the Jews or shilling for um, big money houses even though he was the one that taught them about um, the big money houses. So what you have going on here is the controlling of the message and it's because of the market. It's because of the money. Now, I don't think Alex is a shill and I don't think Alex was purposely ever um, sabotaging anybody. He didn't, he was a, he was never a moon hoaxer and he was never a, uh, a flat earther. He was never, he was, he's a big outer believer in outer space. No, what happens is he, he's doing a new show and then people want to come in with their agenda, with their story. And Alex isn't having it because he doesn't know it. He doesn't, it's not his. And then he thinks they're sabotaging him. He thinks they're trying to um, say crazy things. So then the media can say, Oh, Alex believes in these crazy things. Uh, Robert David Steele said on Alex's show that there were slave bases on Mars. Um, Buzz Aldrin said there was an obelisk on Mars. People go on and say crazy things, and then the media will say, oh, Alex said those things. Now, Alex doesn't care too much. He understands how to deal with this information, and he understands how to push through it. But as you see now, then he has to deal with it in court. Um, he has to be careful in what he says because they will throw him in jail and they will lock him away. I mean, you do have to be careful with what you say and how you say it, um, even if you do own the platform. This stuff is real, and this war on the mind is um, is real. That's what it's it's all about information, and it's all about controlling people's mind. Now, people know that when they get a show, and then they can try to control the movement of the mind in other people's mind. They try to control the show. So Joe Rogan built his show. The reason I like to pick on him, and I've called him a shill in the past, is because he used conspiracies to build his independent network, to build him as a independent thinker away from Hollywood. So he was a Hollywood guy. He was in uh, news radio. He was uh, the Fear Factor guy. Um, but then he was an independent guy working for the UFC and then doing comedy and then doing um, his podcast. In 2009, he started a podcast and he started it with... Uh, Brian, Brian Redband, and Eddie, and all they talked about is conspiracies. If you watch the first couple of years of that, conspiracies and comedy, and then he talks about DMT and um, psychedelics. Those were like the, th and then health and wellness and like working out and stuff. That was like the main topics he would talk about, but he liked to talk about conspiracies. I remember one time he had Eddie on and he was talking about bloodlines of the Illuminati, and Eddie wasn't having it. Eddie wasn't a believer in it. And Joe was like, no, like trying to get him into it. And Eddie just didn't know. Eddie, likes conspiracies but he just didn't know that one he didn't bite on that one and then anytime eddie would bring up a, up a conspiracy joe would get mad um a lot of that has to do with they just want to control the message and they want to control it their way and when someone else tries to use their platform to uh, push a message they push back so the reason i'm bringing this up and um trying to i'm calling out shills because i'm i think a lot of the flat earthers i do believe they believe the earth is flat but i don't believe they really want to prove it um i believe they want to prove it in a way only if it comes from their show and only if it comes from their platform they want to control the message and they want to do their little curvature experiments and they want to prove flat earth their way and they make a lot of money and they are very rich and they are rich enough to prove this once and for all. The easiest way to prove flat earth is show the ice wall. Just go there. Go there in secret and film it and then go there with everybody and film it and show the whole world it. Show the whole world that there's more land. A bunch of flat earthers just made two documentaries called Level. They didn't try to go to the ice wall. They didn't try to go there. They have apps. They have websites. They have a lot of revenue streaming um, services. Um, they're producers. They're really good at the production side. They're really good at the art side. Um, and I'm not picking on David Murphy and I'm not picking on Eric Dubay. I've talked to them privately. They do other things for a living and they also, this is like a part-time thing and they are true flat earthers. Um, they are not shills. Um, but a lot of these, David Weiss, he's a shill. 
Now, I believe he believes Flat Earth, but he's just trying to make money on his app. His app is like three bucks, and then you have to pay like a subscription, and all it is is a dating site for um, Flat Earthers. The clock and the, the little sun and the moon clock, it's absolutely nothing. It's, it's garbage. It does absolutely nothing. It teaches you nothing about Flat Earth. Okay, it's pretty good for like a place to put other people's videos and he just puts other people's videos there and he's put my videos there before um and i appreciate that but then he deletes them and then he private messages you and says oh i want you to like steer the message this way he doesn't like my flat earth challenge and he doesn't like the fact that i call him a shill because he's not actually trying to prove flat earth why didn't they go to the ice wall in level the next level they talked about it why didn't they go there you don't have enough money to go to New Zealand? Okay, it's a couple thousand bucks. I don't. I personally don't. But I'm going there. It's right here. On the Gleason map, it's right here. And then you just fly straight, and there's a mountain right here, right off. And yes, your instruments stopped working. It's only two hours away. Richard E. Bird went there. He wrote about it, and then he did this whole spin on it. Prove it. Like, take a little bit of time. It's a little complicated. And then put it together. They're great at production. They're great at doing shows, but they want to do anti-gravity um they want to do um make things fly up on the southern hemisphere messing with the different poles they want to make videos they don't want to actually prove it they don't want to leave the ice wall. they don't want to go oh you can't go the government's going to stop you you got to be a little careful about it you got to be a little stealthy about it you fly a plane you rent a plane you can charter planes for a couple thousand dollars. I've taken a, a seaplane before just as fun and this time you take the seaplane you tell the pilot to take his compass to take his instrument and point it west and go straight yes it will stop working just go grab his hands and don't move his hands and make it sure it goes straight and then you'll film more landing you'll film ice you should be if it's a spinning ball you should be out in water and you shouldn't be in the arctic circle anymore if it's a spinning ball you're not going to be in the arctic circle when you're going due west from new zealand and they won't even talk about it they don't even want to mention it why not man because you just want to make money. There's, I don't want to stop you from making money, but I want to prove this. And I want to end NASA, and I want to prove in everybody's mind that the government is just doing this crazy heathenistic, uh, I'm not heathenistic, uh, pantheistic religion. They're doing this crazy, this crazy pagan on paganism on steroids. It's, it's absolutely insane. And the flat earthers are just, Cowtoe and Mrs. Allen. There's this Mr. The Allens and the Buffets uh, own Google. Google runs YouTube, and Mrs. Allen is like the is like the bulldog for YouTube. She and in, in Hollywood. If you've ever been around Hollywood circles, you'll meet Mrs. Allen. She runs around and yells at everybody, sends the emails. She has literally everybody's phone number. There was an intervention um, on me in 2018. She was there, and I found out she has, like, everybody's phone number. And I was like, why do they listen to this lady? It's so ridiculous. They all listen to her. They all have her phone number. Um, she pays them extra money to be gatekeepers. It's absolutely ridiculous. I do believe they believe the earth is flat. Uh, I just think they're trying to make a bunch of money on it, and they're trying to stop the message. And then when you get to a certain level, they try to shut you down, and they try to shut the Danny down. Yeah, it's not going to work very well, guys. <laughs> the Daniel's a fighter. Game on.